Hello, everyone. My name is Jody Smith. And I'm Ed Hanson. Well, we had a, a great meeting uh, yesterday, our April meeting. And Ed, do you want to touch upon some of the big, one of the big nuggets we talked about? Sure, I'd love to. You know, it, it was really interesting. And I don't know how many of you have been around like when we had the crash, but in case you weren't aware, we had a real estate crash like back in 2008. And what's interesting to see how we've evolved over that time period is I'm just gonna throw out some numbers for you to think at, you know, just to try to get a perspective. In 08, we had over a 13 month supply of inventory. So that was really an overabundance. Houses were on the market forever. Fast forward to 2020, last year, we were like just over one month of inventory available. And so far, year to date this year, we're at 0.7. So what a reversal we've had. Mm -hmm. Interesting, in 2006, the average sale price home in, through GRAR was 164000 Two years later, we hit that crash. Average sale prices were at 121 Last year, they're up to like 264000 And, you know, with all these changes when the market is, is so good, you know, also we, we're setting records for membership. And it's kind of interesting, too, because... Um, back in like 06, um, you know, we had like 3,300 members back then. And then in the right after the crash, people were dropping out. And from 2009 to 2013, we were only around 2,000 members. Mm -hmm. So then year to date, I think we're up pushing about over 3,400. So you look at all that growth and, uh, and Jody, you, as you know, um, we just got off a little Zoom with the new uh, orientation class at GRAR, new membership. There, there were 80 new memberships in March. And on the Zoom meeting for orientation, I think there was like 65 people. Mm -hmm. And it was exciting because these young people and new to our business, they were asking some awesome questions. But, but here's the thing, with growth and the times that we're in, it brings all kinds of challenges, which has really been tasking board of directors and all the people on the task force. And, and I wanna do a little shout out specific to one that's, that's close to me and the one that I feel is so important, one of many, but the Education and Professional Task Force. You know, that's headed up by the chairperson, Scott West, and the director liaison is uh, Ashley Deesh and the uh, staff, uh, Brittany Smith. And those people are busy, but think about how important it is to get that together. And in the last couple of years, we've worked so hard with the you know, master of broker principles and we're working on uh, master agent principles, but the education and professionalism of our group as we grow is crucial. So I'm super excited, super proud of the group um, in that committee and all the committees. Um, I could talk forever, but um, I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna let it go at that, but boy, uh, interesting times that we're, we're going through right now. Yeah, absolutely. No, and, and they're gonna be doing a couple of panels here soon. You're gonna be, look, look out for that. Hopefully the end of this month or May, you're gonna start seeing some some panels that the Educational Professional Committee is coming up with. And it's gonna talk about the, the, the things that we're, that's on our, our plate right now um, as Realtors. Also, um, another shout out to the Government Affairs Committee. They, are, they created a task force, we mentioned it last month in regards to affordable housing. And they've come up with a position paper regarding housing availability. And it's a four page, um, paper that we approved as the board of directors yesterday. And it's really summarizing where, where we're at right now and our lack of inventory so that we can pass this along, hopefully to municipalities, representatives, um, people that are making decisions on our zoning, making decisions on our cost to get a permit, our cost to hook up to city water, city sewer, so that we can possibly try to, try to help it on the front end of even getting some houses built that help affordable houses and affordable houses, right, Ed? It's not just, <laughs> we don't need just more houses. We need affordable houses. Affordable. Yeah. Um, 
We and I know that's going to be hard with the cost of building, but we need possibly smaller lots, and we need municipalities to to to. So our I just have to tell you, hats off to Grar to to be connecting with our community and. And I, that's just, it's a, it's a great, I, I know it's not going to happen overnight, but another thing is, even though we're in a really interesting market, uh, tough, it, it's, um, the goodness, good news is people are still wanting to buy and sell. And that's where it's a lot different than it was in 2008, because nobody wants to buy something that's going down in value. All right, Ed, what was next on our, um, oh, let me just touch upon this, if you don't mind, is... Yep. We did discuss, we are we are still researching showing apps just so that everybody knows that. That's not, that's still something that's on our plate and we're recognizing we wanna know our options for showing our different showing apps. Also another hats off to the community task force. They raised almost $5,000 in February and uh, there was a couple of great donors that started a nice little campaign and $3,500 is going to our local schools. There are still needs for our schools, even though they might not be all in session. Um, you know, they might not be, they might be doing virtual, but there's a lot of kids in need of everything from food, snacks, supplies. It's amazing how many schools need, uh, the kids need boots and coats. It's, it's kind of really sad. Those needs are still there. So that was just to prove that that's going to be donated $3,500. I know so many of us are givers to our community. We have two more uh, ask or, or know abouts. And that is, remember, we, we created the Kay Courtney book drive. This is something Kay is very passionate about. She started this years ago and getting, getting used, gently used books or even new books for kids from kindergarten to eighth grade. If you guys, there's a box at Grar store. If you are cleaning out, you're doing your spring cleaning. Don't give those to Goodwill right now. Let's, let's get those to Grar so that we can make sure they go to the schools that need them. There is an elementary school um, that is opening just so for any of you Northwest Siders and Comstock Park, Pine Island um, Elementary was asking, they're creating a new library and they're asking for books. So wanted to pass that along. We also are having our blood drive on May 12th and that's gonna be at Grar and go to Grar and hopefully you'll be looking at that. Hopefully that'll be on a newsletter here soon, but. Thank you, Ed, and thank you, everybody. Continue Take with the care. spirit of cooperation. Okay, bye. All right, <laughs> I had to put that plug in. <laughs> <laughs>